one day, Spencer was resting at the siding. Oh, sometimes, he thought, it's really hard to be such a lovely splendid, a lovely silver engine. Who does have to keep, keep graceful with the Duke and Duchess? Hello, silver face. What cheek, spluttered Spencer. Fancy me speaking to me like that. Me who has never had an accident. Oh really, Spencer? Remember that there have been lots of accidents you've had this year. It's not even funny. You want me to name them all? No, indeed. It's not like you had a decent amount of accidents this year. Is that right? Is that right? I don't know. Maybe you could be wrong. I don't know. But I'm gonna be going off. At the end of the day, Spencer was very tired. The fire was slow to start. Finally, Spencer started to move. Soon, Spencer was at the junction. He didn't know which way to go, but he was feeling kind of drunk, so he said right. Spencer moved slowly forward and was about to jam the point. But he couldn't stop in time and skittered into the point. Ooh! He hissed. Get me out! Get me out! Not a hope said his driver. You're stuck, you silly great engine. Don't you understand that? This driver and fireman went to one of the houses for help. Being Spencer in the ditch. Oh dear, I shall never get out. That night, the workman put some lights to see Spencer and put sleepers on to me. Sure that the mud doesn't come on Stanley. Stanley and Henry tried to pull Spencer out of the mud. But they weren't strong enough. Edward came to help. was feeling very cold and very miserable.